זה זוהר ופיץ לסביק. שרשום ברוכה is very upset. If somebody learns the Torah the way it says. This is just for beginners. In the Torah, Shmuel Bachai said, it's not a storyteller, just messages. And the main thing to dig and find out what's really behind the curtain. Especially we read all those stories. The Torah tells us what happened coming out of Egypt in the journey in the desert. Excuse me. <coughs> have a desire, I mean, so I decided they also want, they also want. Start to cry. They want to have something. What do you want? They came to Moshe, and the way it says in the Torah, they say like this, Mia Chilenu Basar, who is gonna feed us? It's not the right language. But you should say, we would like to have meat. The weekend, Memorial Day, Memorial, Memorial Day weekend is coming after the barbecue. We'd like to have meat. You don't say, who is going to feed me meat? But this is in the talk. Comes the Gemara right over and says, wait, hold it. What do you mean meat? You have plenty of meat. So Gemara says, well, this is just a complaint. So a complaint? What does it mean? So they come to Moshe and it says, let's translate it. You want to have meat. Moshe should have said, you want meat? You have hundreds of thousands of sheep here. What is exactly the problem? Which is why Moshe doesn't tell him that. Moshe doesn't say that. Moshe is upset. And Hashem is upset. Hashem is upset. Why are you upset? Excuse me, you're talking about our dad, our grandparents. The Gemara says the best generation ever, the most knowledgeable people ever, let us know in the desert. So what do you want, Nick? You have plenty. What do you mean, you don't you want to use it? I would like to know why don't you want to use it? What happened now? Okay. Come to Moshe and said, Moshe, Besides this, we have another complaint. We have man. Since we came out of Egypt, last two years, less than two years maybe, we have man. It says we feel that our store is dry. The Torah reads, Nafshenu Yevesha. Anchor. You understand what you mean? You eat it? After you eat the man in the morning and the evening, you fall by Hashem. What's the problem? We don't know what it is. And also, Moshe, I want to tell you something else. Since we have man, we don't have to use the restroom. And you know, we don't use the restroom. What can happen? Anglewood Hospital. What do you mean? Don't go to the bathroom. This is the Gemara, whoever eight months, almost 40 years in the desert, never had to use a restroom. By the way, by the way, the whole thing is a mistake. Because this one creature never used a restroom. <clears throat> Secret the Gemara says if the person have kind of a pride in the system. The man says, go look at the mosquito. Let's look at the mosquito. Mosquito. Yeah, tush kidamcha. Hashem created a mosquito before you. Mosquito? All the animals were created before me. 
The opposite of the Gemara says, Hashem wanted us to be created last, because everything should be ready for us. But says, no. If you have any pride, look at the mosquito. He is better than you. You must know it's better than you. The mosquito never uses, uses rest. It's the only creature. He never, doesn't use the rest. It means this, it's embarrassment to use a, a rest. It's the Gemara means. Rabbi Rupiah and Yishiva used to tell us, are well, you proud of yourself? You have a sewer system in your head. I said, I better said, I heard it from him. I said, you know what I mean? Look at your nose. Doesn't matter how, what's the size of your nose. Blow nose, blow nose, blow nose. What blow nose? What does it mean? You have a sewer system, a size system. So what do you think about yourself that you're such a, a, a big person? You, Mr. Roder, Roder, Here comes Am Israel, there's a complaint of Moshe. Moshe, we don't use restroom. I've seen America, Hotel Shock, Baruch Hashem. It's embarrassing to go to the restroom. Embarrassing. Tell me the Gemara, if a person needs to go to the restroom, he used to pray to Hashem, eh, it's not nice, I have to go to the restroom, forgive me. And he used to talk to the two angels next to him, he says, Please, please, I know you're not, you don't want to come to the restroom. To the restroom, please wait for me outside. Travel the Mechobadim. Say, you can't walk to the And Joe. And they come and they complain. Say, Moshe, but you don't go to the restroom. Moshe should have said, good. Now you're like a mosquito. It's good. So Moshe doesn't say anything. Okay. Now come to and describe you the, the man. What description? I don't know description. I know one, but Pasad B'Shalach, Etzel B'Shmot, and the man came with a description. We talk about a piece. You know what? The man is so nice. Looks like crystal. And people go and take it and make cakes out of it. The language in the Torah, this is far huh? They make, they make cakes. <laughs> By the way, Pasad <laughs> B'Shalach, Actually, Hashem is going to give man to us. Hashem calls the man bread. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's not. Okay. That's a different language. Different word. Here, the Torah called it cake. When the man actually came, the Torah called it bread. You know, bread is much more important than cake. You have bread, you have to say, cut my own. For sure, from Hashem. You have cake, you say, Baruch Hashem, Shalosh, Shalom, Mechia, it's a machloket, and the Shana Ruch, if it's from Hashem, I mean. Pekat Mazon, the Pavka Nevsky said, you have to wear your jacket and your hat. Baruch Hashem, Shalosh, Shalom, Mechia, just put your hat. Important, the jacket and the hat, and the hat, by the way. Somebody came to Pavka Nevsky, asked him, do I have to put my hat in the jacket and do the cut and so on? I said, yeah, it's a chan to do it. Do the halacha, and it's good for business too. Business. The guy from state, it means, you know, it's good for him, you know, for panasa. You have panasa. This guy was very, very easy, very, very wealthy person. He took upon himself, okay, from now on, jacket and hat. We did from the sidur. Pam Kanevsky said, somebody looking for Shidur, she put the children, the children. She said, we got myself from, from the Shidur, we should have promises. So I will say, we got myself from Shidur, word by word, and he knows what he's saying, guarantees Pamasa. Doesn't guarantee that you, you have $10 billion in the bank, but you should never, ever need any help from nobody. That's how important. So Mishnah said, it's like Shmonesa. We fresh from Esre, we got my don't look around, don't look at the side, don't look at your phone, do nothing, just say it. So the man heard it, so it put it outside. This is in the book. So one day this guy had a meeting with a seller of a real estate, and it's a very, very big deal. And they had the difference of five million shekel between themselves. <clears throat> the seller wanted five million shekel more, and the guy said, No, I don't pay. This was in a restaurant, and the guy said, you know what? I'm going to save a cut my first. He went, got up, took his jacket and his head. So the guy said, okay, 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 okay. 
I give you five minutes, check it. Don't forget about it. Okay. The guy said, we got them on. After we cut my own, he asked the seller, why are you changing your mind all of a sudden? What happened? He was so stubborn. He said, I saw you put your jacket in your head. I thought you leave. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, that's so kind for me. Good for us, too. <laughs> so again, bread is much more important than cake. The Gemara says in the morning, you should have bread for breakfast and a cup of wine. And if not, you should have the water. So we got Mazon from Zidu. It's 100% for Nazar. Again, here the Torah calls the man cake. Okay. What's happened to the bread? Shem says in the Torah, The man came, was bread. Now it's cake. What happened to it? Oh. Okay, so Israel came to Moshe. In the text, what's the text? Moshe came to Hashem. He says, Hashem, I don't like this business. And the language that Moshe uses, he says like this. Who is going to slaughter so many animals for me? Slaughter animals? They didn't ask, they didn't ask, look at Moshochet. They said they, have, they want to have meat. Okay, we don't understand what they mean yet. Who is trying to understand what they say? So Moshe should have come to Hashem. And she said, Hashem, they want to have meat. Who is going to supply so much meat for them? Moshe doesn't say that. Moshe said, who is going to slaughter for them? Well, they're going to slaughter the steps. What do you mean? Who is going to slaughter for them? That's not the issue over here. Hashem, Hashem is upset. Moshe is upset. Hashem said, Moshe, you know what? What do you think? I can do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Excuse me, what do you think? Moshe doesn't know that Hashem can do it. Mean. What kind of argument is it? Why, do, why does the Torah law says, why does the Torah write this dialogue argument with Moshe in Hashem? And Hashem is upset with Moshe. She says, I'm, I, can, I can bring it. I'll show you something. I'm going to bring it. They're going to eat it. They're going to choke on it. Choke on it. What do they do? I don't understand what they do. I want to have a piece of meat. Okay, you don't understand why I'm on. Okay, it's Abba. Abba. I said, I'm going to give you the and you're going to choke on it. And go tell them that. And Moshe went and told us, listen, Hashem is going to give you and you're going to choke on it. And Torah describes this, the, the, those special birds, this love came, and everybody had and piled them up. The list was 10 times per person. The height that they came, they flew in front of them, they slaughtered them, they couldn't find any freezers for them, fried them, be so this, 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 start eating them, chocolate. Chocolate? What did I do? I shame the Shabbat, I go to make the, I want the woman, I did everything. <laughs> I don't understand. It's our father. What did I do? I don't know what I do. What did you do? I want a piece of meat. Okay, so I don't understand. You read the Torah. Then they went. All the sign. So this this city is called Tivota Tava, the graves of the ones that desired. Desired. I think who knows what desired? Who knows? You can imagine what they want. They wanted a piece of meat. Okay. You don't get it? You don't get it. When somebody comes to you and asks you a beef, son comes to you, I want a piece of meat. He said, Listen, you can get a chocolate. What do you do? That's what it's all meaning. There's more questions. Let me say in English, endless questions. But what's the message? What's really at all? So it goes like this. The Gemara says like this. This is Gemara. Says. Gemara says like this. One place the Torah calls it bread, and one place the Torah calls it a, a cake. Depends on the level of the person. A righteous person, holy person, when he eats something, comes into his mouth, can be so called translated by his brain. If it's bread, cake. Bread is much harder as cake as 
as we said before, the middle class people is cake. You have the same thing. You sit down with somebody, you have lunch, you have the same food on the table. He is having high energy food, and you having middle class. There's the Gemara so. Parashat B'Shalach, when Hashem said he can give us man, the man was described as bread. This is Parashat, the Torah says, Hashem said, I give the man. It looks like crystal. Cake. By the way, the first time it says cake in the Torah is when the three angels came to visit Abraham, Abraham told Sarah, make cake for them. Lushi Vasi Ugo. The second time it says in the Torah, we came out of Egypt. We took the leftover dough, became ugot cake. Then it became bread. Now it became, now again became cake. So according to our level, this is the, those angels came to visit Abraham. We know many thought they are Arabs. So he told Sarah, go take the flour. When you bake it, have in mind cake, not uh, high people. They look like flowers. Abam told, Abam told them, go wash your feet. We came out of Egypt. She took us out the last moment out of Egypt. She didn't deserve to be saved. So the means we left. It's called cake. But we, took, we took dough. We made matzah from the same dough. But we went on the level. After we crossed the Amazon, we said, as Yashir. Then they elevated. We saw Hashem. We, saw, we said, we're going to Betamigdash. We're going to, to Betamigdash, now going to Israel. We're going to Yerushalayim. We're going to Kotel. We said, okay. The man, I give you man. Man is full of angels. Lechem. You can feel it. Lechem. You feel it. So you put, put a piece of man in, in your mouth. And I said, oh. Now I feel something. Because the secret of the food is not for the stomach. The stomach is just a sifter. If you eat something, the stomach sends a message right away to the liver. Our liver is a part of our neshama. Part of our neshama says as well as in our liver, part is in our heart, part is in our brain. So when Hashem to Adam and Rishon, you can really come, come eating, come eat, see all the trees, eat from the trees. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need to eat. I don't need to eat. could have made us, you know, like a Tesla. You plug yourself, and that's it. You have to go to a gas station. Hashem could have made us, you know, plug yourself. Oh, you know, just as you have a special battery inside. And how many years you're supposed to, to live? You know, when the battery is finished, you, know, you go to Canada. I said, no, so come to the end, you want to eat? I don't want to eat. Who's that? Not only is that Hashem told him to go eat from the trees. Before I eat from the trees, the Gemara says, angels used to make barbecue for Dhamma to give him it. He, didn't have to, he was not allowed to throw it downstairs. He's not allowed to take any meat from downstairs. Only Noah was the first person who was allowed to have meat. The Gemara no. But he didn't have meat, the Gemara says. Angels came. Hey, come to talk to you. I want to explain to you the story how the story goes. This is the smartest people ever, that generation. Like I said, America, the ancient look. <clears throat> I come to Moshe and say, Miss Moshe, I want to explain something. We would like to have a piece of meat. No, 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 Moshe, you didn't get it. Who will feed us? Think the bad? Yeah. Our great grandfather, Adam Arishon, somebody fed him. Angels fed him. And angels feed you. The energy that you get into your system is high voltage energy. The Gemara says, Chachamim sometimes used to create those kind of foods that come from Shamayim. Come from Shamayim. That's what Hashem really had in mind. Adam Arishon, you should eat only. Something grows from the ground. The secret is to correct the ground seed 
But meat, from Shamayim you get. The Gemara says a person should try to avoid meat on earth. The Gemara says, Basar, previation, Bushar, Shol, Gemara, says the Gemara. If you don't know the Shas by heart, it's very dangerous to have meat. Very dangerous. All meat from Shamayim. Because it's very high energy. And I get this energy in my nefesh. My nefesh. I have plenty of animals, Moshe. I don't want my animals. It's a complaint. Yeah, it's not a complaint, it's a stupid complaint that they want me to have me. Our fathers are not stupid. And Moshe would have, should have answered them. You want me? You have plenty in your backyard. What's the problem exactly? They don't want me. They say, Mia Helenu, we want somebody to feed us. Ring the bell? You want to reach the leper of the Moshe? So how, do, how do you know? How do you know? Moshe, you know how I know? Maybe you are on that level. No, no, no. They said, Nafshenu Yevisha. A person can feel while he's eating, after he's eating, if he feels, if he feels any elevation because he ate, or just because his stomach is too full, he has to run around the house because cholesterol gets high. The food was given to us to have the energy. Darius says, the taste of the food, the smell of the food that goes inside your system gives you energy. That's Hashem. Hashem doesn't want you to eat. Hashem wants you to get energy. When you eat, you get energy, but not physical energy, spiritual energy. And that's when they came to Moshe. He says, listen, we don't want it. We, me, Achilenu, the Torah, every world is a, is a nuclear bomb. Who is going to feed us? He says, Moshe, what do you mean? Who's going to feed us? What do you mean? Who? who, who, who? You don't want this meat. This meat is worthless. You don't feel anything. Do you know how do I know? Because I eat the man. It tastes like a cake. If the man that we ate would taste like bread, like before we did the golden calf, then we know we do the right thing. But our job is to elevate ourselves. We don't get no elevation. And that's exactly what Moshe comes to Hashem says, Hashem, who is going to slaughter for them? What do you mean? Who is going to slaughter for them? I thought they want meat. No, 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 they don't want meat. They want slaughtered meat. Slaughtered meat means angry. Moshe says, who is going to slaughter for them? Says, don't worry about it. I want to show you something. The whole thing is a lie. They don't want elevation. I say, how about the test? I'll tell you, I'll tell you about the test. The test is if you have a lot of food and you're having more food, more food, consume, consume. From post price, after post price, in the wedding, after the wedding, before the wedding, then after the wedding, take some home, some food left, left over. This is what happened. We came from the concentration thing. What happened? You had supper at home before you came to the wedding and you had lunch with a customer. So, what's the problem? I tell you what the problem is. The problem is that you lie to yourself. So you want to true life in your physical life. And Shazanish writes in his book, desire for food is worse than going to a cemetery to become ten. Because if you don't eat the Shem Shamayim, not only you don't get what Hashem wants you to get, Opposite, you supply so called physical energy to your system that's physical. I said, What do you want now? We want, we don't want one. We don't want, we don't, want, we don't feel nothing. We don't want our meat. What do you want? Sit quiet, gathering everybody. Everybody gathers. Moshe, Moshe, why are you crying? I says, well, you said, we don't want the man, we want his own bread, we don't want a cake, we don't want this. Okay. She said, I said, what are you going to do over here? What are you going to do? She said, do anything? I'll show you. The whole thing is, is a bluff. Check it out. <clears throat> and just looking to have a complaint. They, look, they complain. This means lack of emunah. They don't believe in me. They just want to tell me something and they can do whatever they do. I'm going to supply them, and you're going to see how they run outside. And they pack it up, they make a pile, and eat, and eat, and eat. And 
you eat like this, says the Gemara, is a proof. It's, it's the, the animal part of the proof. Won't it? Thank you, sir. And that really what the Torah will explain to us. The dialogue between Moshe and, and Akadosh Baruch The Torah all of a sudden says, it Moshe says to Hashem, did I give birth to them? Why do I have to have this job? And if that's my job, I want to die. I want to die. What do you mean? Says as well, Moshe felt that Am Israel disconnected themselves from Hashem via the leadership of Moshe Rabbeinu. The Gemara said like this: Hashem gave us money in the desert to support Moshe Rabbeinu. Says as well, says the Gemara. If you complain, you want meat, you want this, this, this. It means he's not on the level of Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu tells us last speech in his life, I was in Shamayim, I didn't eat, I didn't drink, nothing. Because he's supposed to ask a Kadosh Baku, I don't want to eat. I want to eat just to supply energy to my system, to have spiritual life. As the Gemara said, no food. People will see it, we get energy from Torah. Like, until the person prays to Hashem, that Baruch Hashem, you know, he can eat and make sure, he makes sure the food goes in the right pipe and Baruch Hashem, everything in the system, MRI, anascopy, anascopy, massascopy. I says, I think it makes sense. It's like anascopy to your to you, uh, to your nefesh. Is your nefesh, right? He never, she said, a person should not pray to Hashem, he wants to have a good meal. Pray to Hashem, I want to have the energy of the good meal. I want to have a Torah to penetrate into my system. Because the Torah, so called, is an energy supplier to my Nishamas inside me. So the Muslim Shalom Gamma team says that is the Baruch in the morning. So the person is coming in this, says the Zohar, the Nishama should go back in the system in every place. And you say, and says, you have to have in mind five pieces of our nation. One in the liver, one in the heart, one in our brain, and two on top of our head. So you bend down and says, well, say, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, five words. It says five words because the five pieces of Nishama that you ask Kadosh Baruch Hu, I want to connect. If you don't have it in mind in the morning, you might not be connected the whole day. That's an important Baruch Hu. It will say in the morning and now we. It's not just Baruch Hu. It's a connection from our system to Kadosh Baruch Hu. And that's what Kadosh Baruch Hu says. This is the last so-called, if you may say, stop. Before we send the spies and then downfall, and says, What happened? What happened? We just look for an excuse to have certain things, but we don't live up to it. And the person says, Before he goes to before, and before he goes to eat, he's due to Tuba. Tuba, what? You don't do anything. So, where do you get these desire buildings? Where do you get these desire buildings? The desire is, it says first, instead of Bereshit, that Chava ate from the tree, and the Torah describes, she looked at the tree, and they said, the tree like this, but tell her, Isha, get away from her heart, nice. Vechi ta'avau la'enayim. Chava had a desire in her eyes to eat the fruit. If you think about it, why, why, how, great grandmother, she was told by Adam Alushon to eat from the food, or just created, a few hours ago she was created. She looks at the tree, 
I don't know how to describe it. I think this is why I uh, do it. It's unlikely to believe that the person that was just created by Kadosh Baruch Hu will, will go down such a low level that he sees the fruit. What was it? A, a grape or a little uh, a wheat or a fig? And she cannot resist. No. Tell you the secret of our life. As I have a whole tell you the secret. The Gemara says like this. You know why she ate? She didn't eat because she likes it. Fig. Maybe it was a mango. No. Or a piece of wheat. But it's great. Says the Gemara, I tell you the whole secret. The snake. Said Lashonara about Lashon. He told Chava, what do you think? Who? The only one here. Hashem is the only one upstairs. <clears throat> Hashem is afraid of you. That you are his competition. If you will eat from the tree, you'll be like God. That's why he told you don't eat. And that sentence when he said, our grandmother's head. And the Torah says she had desire to eat it. Desire for what? For the food? Man, she looked at desire. So she looks at it. What's so great to look at it, a piece of fruit? No. She had desire to be like God. That's our problem. The snake was able to convince her that if it eat, if she will eat, she'll be like God. And she had desire to be like God. This process. And what happened? Hold on. She ate, and there's all other bad things happened to her. And blah, 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 because the whole thing was a shaker. Because it was built on desire to be competition to us. Mm -hmm. And that's really, I mean, say, before you sit down and eat, they said, do to Shuba. Shuba didn't do no sin. Babu Hashem, I'm pure. I say, you do to Shuba only for your grandmother. The whole concept that was established in this world, eating, eating, desire, obesity, America. Oh, I didn't understand, you know, I was a kid. I didn't understand, you know anything about America. I never had a dream to come. I never had a dream to go to America. Yeah, they didn't have a dream. So they were, I don't know why they wanted us to know something about America. I'm talking to you 60 years ago. So you say, Mashgir said like this, I won't tell you what America is. In America, there's a thing is called hamburger. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know what it is, of course. I said, let me just explain. This is uh, a king size uh, hamburger. You know what it is? They explain to us. This is a meatball or something. Okay, fine. I just to tell you what it is. There are 10 people sitting in a restaurant. And they have their instead of lunch. So you so I'm had so I'm lunch time. And the waiter had brought 11 hamburgers to the table. So each one takes one hamburger, put in the plate. It was dinner. It was dinner at night. And uh, one hamburger left in the middle of the table. So everyone tells it, I said, no, don't take it. I said, no, food. You? Nah, I just said lunch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of a sudden, it was a blackout. <laughs> they had a blackout, this one guy screamed, ah, Hatala, Hatala. Light was on. You see one hand and nine forks inside his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that desire started from Chavei Menu, but not from Shemayim. The opposite of Shemayim. The word desire, person says in the Torah, but Chava. Here, this generation is on that correction, that corner. Desire for food. I said, I want to have food because we want to. Uh, uh, to have a spiritual life, which is really spirituality through the month, through the meat, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you. I know. I know. I know. That's what the grandmother said. Also, she wants also for spiritual reasons. She wants, to, but the spiritual reason was a negative in spirituality. I say because you don't need to do shuba. I say I want to eat the shem shemayim, not like my grandmother and not like my poor father. They say one. This is I want to eat the shem shemayim. You say because the Amazon the shem shemayim that clears so called the thought of desires the person had, and then it goes straight to the system. And then you don't have to have colonoscopy, you don't have to have a valve replacement, a death replacement, a knee replacement, and all those things. And even if you talk to Baruch and other people, they say, you're perfect, you're perfect. Because the energy goes there inside the system of Shardin have a, a, a knee replacement, neither of Prime Kanievsky, and they didn't have glasses, no stimulant mm -hmm. glasses, and gushing them glasses, and you walked around the blue hundred skiot, hundred, hundred years old man, blows the sofa like a kid, eighteen years old. Obgeshen was just uh, went to Ganede. It's because no, I just want to finish with Obgeshen. I was ahead of Amisrael. Somebody told me the hotel. You can see him in the hotel. His name is. His name is. So I find out. his name. He told me like this about 50 years ago, no, maybe almost 60 years ago. He ate my version lunch Shabbat. So Abgershon looks at him and he sees he doesn't eat. He says, Why don't you eat? He said, The, the child is cold. I can't eat cold child. Today you get divorced for this. <laughs> You get home, the children's closed, and the morning is over. So Gershon told him, I don't understand. You don't shiva here. You don't shas. Do you have a difference in your head if the food is hot or cold? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? But this is what the man, he looked at him, he saw. He had no, no, uh, no flesh. The whole thing was uh, burnt. Died while he was writing a shul in, in 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 the in the hospital. Like to to machine, saying it's hundred years old. He wants to say a lecture. I see you. He's writing while he's writing a shul. He gives him some attention. And it's because that's our job. We have to have a special diet. We have to run around the house. And this is a person should learn. Torah, I'm afraid to Hashem, I want Torah. You save a lot of money, not to go to the supermarket, not to return food over there. He says, and we'll eat from this Vachim. Amen. Amen.